Hi guys, I'm here, I'm here. I'm just, I was looking around, je cherchais ce que je vais faire aujourd'hui, puis uh, j'ai pris une idée, mais maintenant je, je cherche mes outils, puis je veux être certaine que j'ai, uh, je vais utiliser des pochoirs. Hi everybody, let me slow that down a minute. Hi! Bon lundi! Yes, guys, I really am very gray, so just ignore that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing a little today, which is fun. Yay. Um, but because of that, of course, I didn't get anything ready. So I am going to keep getting it ready while everybody says hello. Then we're going to look at Happy Mail, which is ATC's. And I just really want to find this beautiful, ah, there it is, okay, this beautiful stencil that I wanted to use today. So I found that, okay. So I've got that. So we've got some great stencils. So I'm going to need a little stencil bath. Hey, Fred. Hello, Rachel, Diane. Hi, Star, Isabelle, Ariel. Hello, Carmen. Hi, Suzanne. Diane, Karen. Hello, Céline. Danielle. Hi, Nance. You get Pauline. Hi, Michelle. Just after you left, another card came in for you. What can I tell you? Hello, Chantal. So, hi, guys. Whew. So, I am... Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour à tout le monde. Rebonjour, Jacinthe. Hi, Ariel. Um, I was looking at paints, and I think I might save that for maybe tomorrow. And hi, Sonia. So how's the switch? How's the switch? We need an update every Monday. I'm sorry, Antonia. I thought techniques were fun. Boy, oh boy, sometimes the crowd is rough. Boy, oh boy. My goodness. Antonia veut que je fais des techniques, euh, que je, je montre de nouveaux produits. J'essaie de garder vos sous pour vous autres. You know, I know there's lots still to come. Oh, I'm so glad, Leah. Yeah, people are loving them, thank goodness, right? It would, be, it would suck to wait so long for a machine and then people not like it. It would, that, that really would have been kind of te terrible. All right, I am looking through my drawer. Parce que en arrière, je peux pas, j'en ai pas l'accès à mes produits que j'avais depuis des années. Donc, maintenant, j'ai mon petite accumulation qui est pas trop petite, um, récent. So, now I have to stick with what I've accumulated over the past little while, which isn't so li as little as I thought, okay? So I'm pulling out all these different pastes because today I want to show you different colorings of pastes and stuff like that and different textures of some pastes so that we fully understand it. Je vais dire tout de suite, si y en a des pâtes, ou des couleurs que je vous montre aujourd'hui que j'en ai pas en stock. Je vous montre seulement des choses qui sont encore accessibles. So if I show you anything today that I no longer have in stock, I make sure to show you only things that I can still get. So I won't show you a product that was discontinued three years ago. That would be silly. So, si c'est pas en stock, je vais l'avoir bientôt, okay? So, we're going to talk about a few of those. Hopefully, they will open and hopefully they are not dry. So, this week, I would love to go over some pastes. I would love to... What else did I love to do? I'd love to do something with the Paper Artsy Paints. I'd love to talk Distress Crayons a little bit. So there's a few little tags and techniques I want to talk about. 
Dominic brought some interesting things in this week, uh, today, pour le uh, défi de cette semaine. So there's that. Um, pour ceux qui ne savent pas le défi de cette semaine, c'est un défi de framing, encadrement. Okay? So she's talking about framing anything. Okay? So framing a picture. You can do framing on an ATC card. Yes, I'm in my back storage room, which is a mess, looking for something. Um, so you could do framing on an ATC card. You can frame with a product like the pastes we're going to be working with today. She also fell in love with a product. Donc, elle a tombé en amour avec un produit uh, cette semaine. Elle a joué avec le Lunar Paste de Simon Hurley. Before, uh, avant que tout le monde saute sur le site pour le commander, je n'ai pas. Okay? It was hard to get for a little while. Pour un bout de temps, il était dur à trouver. Mais je l'ai déjà recommandé en plusieurs couleurs. Mais elle est tombée en amour avec le doré. So, Dominic's um, défi for this week is framing. So here, she did the background here with on the specialty stamping paper with the archival ink and alcohol technique, which also I hope to play with this week. And uh, here is her frame. Now, where did this frame come from, you ask, right? Somebody's going to ask. Quelqu'un va demander, c'est quoi la, la, le cadre? This frame is from Altenew. Donc, c'est un plioir de gaufrage qui fait le cadre, puis il y a une 6 par 6, puis elle a découpé le cadre de le plioir. OK? So, she cut that out of the 6 by 6 embossing folder that is the Altenew. OK, I'll check if we still have one. I think Dominic might have looked today and we didn't, but I will check. And then on this one, she used uh, the embossing folder. Dina Wakely is the stamp. Distress archival inks. Yeah, we did that. And the gold lunar paste. Okay, so this again is the Simon Hurley gold lunar paste. Avec son doigt. C'est les pinceaux que moi j'aime beaucoup. Donc, elle a utilisé cette pinceau-là pour mettre. So, she used this brush right here to put it along with Simon's Lunar Paste Gold. Okay? And don't mix that up with Luna Paste, which we have on our site. Okay? Hmm, what did Cindy say? Wow, that project is absolutely gorgeous. It is stunning. It's even more gorgeous in person. Okay? So, les tempes est de Dina Wakely. Le cadre vient de plioir de Altenew. Le, en arrière, c'est les encres archivales de stress avec d'alcool 99%. So, Altenew embossing folder, which she cut out of the embossing folder. A Dina Wakely stamp, and the background is the archival distress inks. Um, done with alcohol, uh, 99%. This one is all from the Klimt collection. Um, Dominic is in love with that collection. Okay. And that is that Klimt stencil that I showed you guys last week. Mais tout autour, puis ici, tout que vous voyez à doré, c'est le Lunar Paste de... Simon Hurley, okay? Ça, ça vient tout de la lunar paste de Simon Hurley, okay? Then we've got this beautiful example here. Let's show it closer, okay? Même cadre, donc celle de Altenew, 
Le papier qu'elle a utilisé en dents, ça vient de la Klimt Collection, même le Art is Everywhere. Et je veux juste confirmer ce qu'elle a utilisé sur le, euh, pour le doré. Euh, gold Altenew Ink. Oui, on a parlé de ça. So the Gold Altenew Ink, OK? And this is, they have two golds. So one is an antique gold and the other one, oh, I forget. It's the lighter of the two. Donc, il y a deux encres altenu doré. Et au moment, il n'existe pas une re -encreur. So this one is um, the lighter color of the two gold embossing, uh, embossing inks, OK? So that was that one. And I'm sure all of these will be seen on the site this week. Okay. And then last but not least, I have to show you this. This frame, I may be able to get. Okay. Le card, c'est possible que je peux l'avoir. Ça vient de Hero Arts. Mais les personnages, puis tout ça, je vais essayer d'avoir quelque chose proche. Mais c'est deux, une kit de le mois de Hero Arts. Et ça, c'est des kits qui sont pas disponibles aux détaillants. So this comes from a kit of the month from Hero Arts. And that's not always available to, that is never available to stores. They try to make something similar though. So I will look into it. Okay. The other thing is this, this painting that Dominic recreated is done with the Art by Marlene paints, okay? And the Art by Marlene paints um, are translucent. So Dominique said she layered them up, layer on top of layer on top of layer. So thank you for all those beautiful samples, Dominique. And the back door just rang. So I need to go see who's there. I'm hoping it's just a pick up. C'est qui, c'est Canpar? Oui. Oh, good. It's right. Ah. Attends, c'est moi qui ai parti avec le char, c'est la boîte à pizza? Oui. OK. C'est moi qui avais pris. Ah, oh, OK. Parfait. All right. OK. So, that was that. Then, there's one more I really want to show you. Ça dit Canpar dessus? Oui. OK. Is this one. Now, don't run. I have enough for all of you. Okay? Mais ça ici. Okay? Oui, le petit bonhomme, il vient de All and Create. Il était une exclusive. Il reste plus. But that doesn't matter because any bonhomme All and Create will look good on here. But what you need to know is what Dominic painted on is this, okay? Now, I don't know that I would have thought to try that. So that's what we love, okay, is when we get a discovery like that. So this is, ça c'est le tape de 49 and Market, okay? Il vient trois for quatre formats dans la même boîte, okay? And she used paint on there. You could use paint. You could use paste. We, oui, it looks like she frayed the edges. Donc, avec les ciseaux, vous pouvez faire vos, vos uh, côtés comme ça. So, she frayed up her edges. And it just looks so natural on there, like a canvas. Is that not cool? I mean, really, really, really cool. And yes, it peels up, but it is on there, okay? Like, sh for her to show me, it peels up, okay? It's really on there. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is dry. So, definitely, and I love how she did the canvas here too, or it feels like it anyways. Le petit morceau de Canva est là aussi. Et je pense que ça ici était une étampe, puis ça c'est le pochoir, mais sont la même chose. So, very, very cool. And I thought that was a great use of this canvas. So, 
just try your tools in so many different ways. This is like just, it's just like black canvas, okay? Donc, vous pouvez faire n'importe quoi dessus. Essayez de étamper dessus avec une encre blanche. Essayez de embosser dessus avec la chaleur. Donc, vous pouvez faire n'importe de quoi sur cette euh, tissu-là. Et c'est autocollant. So, I see somebody doing that on a, an ATC card in the near future. So, we'll see who's the first. Et je veux juste vous dire tous que la belle set de hibou de la semaine passée de All in Create était toute prise avant la fin, fin de la fin de semaine. Donc, j'ai pas eu une. So, just so that you can all feel sad for me, I didn't get one. Okay? So, it's going to come in my next order. That's because I love you guys so much. All right, let's do the ATCs. Donc, ce qu'on a reçu aujourd'hui dans le poste, j'ai reçu ceux-là de Brigitte. Uh, oui, Brigitte. So, beautiful batch. Il en reste deux. Ceux-là de Jacqueline. Ceux-là est réservé. Ah, oh, sont toutes réservés ceux-là. Mais ça, c'était de Jacqueline. Ceux-là de Jacinthe, il restait deux. Maintenant, il reste un. un. Et ceux-là de Jacinthe, quand tu tires sur la boucle, ça ouvre. Ça, je trouve génial. Puis la petite est dedans. I love that. Donc, vraiment, vraiment cool. Il reste un pour échanger. Et voilà une batch, deux batchs de Chantal. Chambrise. Et ceux-là sont disponibles. Donc, sur ceux-là, on a des différents collants. Et c'est tout pour création. So, crafting and staying happy. Donc, il y en a ça. Et make art, not war. Make art, not war. Donc, on a toutes celles-ci. Donc, toutes ceux-là sont disponibles aussi. Donc, on a tout ça disponible. Dominique a fait un nouveau batch. Je vais vous montrer la mienne. Il ne reste plus. OK. So, these were all reserved already. So, I see everybody's inspired by that yellow and blue. And I don't blame anybody. Just beautiful. And then... Uh, Uh, Dominic picked up most of her tags today, and I said, can I hold on to this one for a little longer because I'm just in love with this one. It has my favorite things, Les Petits Bonhommes de Janet Klein and washi tape. So, washi, washi, washi. I couldn't ask for more. So, I'm in love with this one. Oh, okay. So, now that we've looked at all of my favorites... Let's go over here and get a little dirty, get a little messy. Um, yeah, I need a bit of a stencil. I'll pro probably need a stencil bath. Okay. Michelle, est-ce que tu peux me faire quelque chose, s'il te plaît? Juste mets un peu de l'eau tiède dedans, puis juste mets ta terre à côté de... Merci. All right. Just because I'm going to be using pastes and stuff, I thought it might be wise of me to have a stencil bath nearby. And the last thing I'm going to do is try and set up my iPad so I could see what you guys say. Now, voila. So, how's everybody doing today? Anybody? 
How's everybody doing? All right, I'm putting you there while I get the iPad set up so that we don't hear a screech. Je vais fermer le volume, puis tout ça. Okay. My iPad appears to be dead. On va voir. Monsieur iPad. Oui, merci. Okay, Mr. iPad is now here. Everybody's doing great? Oh, Suzanne, what are you cooking? I'm hungry. Anybody? What's for dinner? I need a good suggest suggestion for something different for dinner. J'ai besoin des suggestions pour, pour souper. Bonjour, Marie. Hello, Manon. Oh, good. Everybody's doing not only good, but very good. Ça, c'est toujours bon. Okay. I have, oh, this is clean. Yeah, this is Dina clean. Dina and Natalie clean. So if you know Dina, you understand that. That's a prop for Dina. And that's who I was trained by. Chili? I don't do chili. Ooh, steak night. May, I might have to be there. I'll handle roasted butternut squash. You know what? I'm sorry, May, but I think I might have to go to Suzanne's. What time are you serving, Suzanne? Ooh, my goodness, Diane. So, so special. Salmon and poke bowl. I had salmon last night though. I think I'm gonna turn into some sort of seafood or something. Hmm. <laughs> so good that you guys are patient with me. Because I haven't a clue what I'm doing here. My iPad doesn't want to work. Hmm. 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 All right, guys. You know what? We're just going to have to wing it because there's not even enough power for it to do anything. So if it ever comes live, I'll turn it on. And if not, well, guys, you'll just have to watch me as is and hopefully we don't freeze. Okay. So I'm going to put it here and I'm going to watch and see if it'll ever, <laughs> it doesn't even have enough power to turn over. Okay, so grit paste. Still looks gritty. Ça va marcher, grit paste. Actually, that's a brand new one. Why would I use that? Hmm. Hmm. This one is crackle texture paste. Donc ça, c'est une qu'il faut qu'on vérifie demain. Uh, oh, oh, maintenant, il y en a assez pour au moins tourner le, le chose, le chose. Tu comprends quand je dis le chose? Le caméra. Mais je peux même pas ajuster le volume. Non, ça, ça veut pas. Ah, après. Ici, j'ai Expand Paste. Ça, c'est ceux-là qu'on peut gonfler. OK? Et ça vient de Sizzix. Ça, c'est le 3D, le Adhesive, le Col 3D. This is why you're supposed to clean your edges before you seal it, juste pour être capable de rouvrir après. So that's 3D paste. Then we've got transparent gloss paste. This I know we've seen Dominic use a lot of times, so we're gonna play with that one. This is dimensional paste on dimension, mais c'est possible que c'est dur. No, it's not. We're good. 
Et mes serviettes humides sont... sont ici. Parfait. Then we have our pearlescent medium. So we're going to check that one out too. We're going to check the dimensional paste. We are going to check out... I wanted to see, je veux voir si on peut teinter nos poudres embossées avec du mica. So that also what I was wondering about. So first, let's just have a look at our powders. Again, I'm going to take out my watercolor paper. Ce c'est moi j'aime beaucoup mon papier aquarelle. So at this point, I want to talk about Pixie Sparkles versus Pixie Burst. Okay. Et si on regarde ces deux-là, ils l'air comme les mêmes couleurs. Okay? So these look very similar in color, so it's going to be interesting to see them. Parce que sur le continent, ceux-là, ils montrent bleu puis comme rose. Et ceux-là montrent bleu puis rose. Si... Uh, C'est possible que je peux pas faire tout ça aujourd'hui parce que... J'ai pas de l'aide avec moi aujourd'hui. Uh, Michelle est ici, mais elle part bientôt. Donc, à 5 heures, il faut que je finisse. So, we might have to be cut off at the pass. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison one next to the other. Okay? And because I... Oh, I do. I don't need a whole big piece of paper to do one little comparison. Just a petit comparaison, donc je vais le couper ça en deux. Et même peut-être en deux encore. I know, you're asking where's Jay. I gave him a break, so he's not here at the moment. So, I told him, it's only an hour. I'll be okay. So, voila, I'm going to put some water on there, and I'm going to put some water on here. We are going to, oh, always forget, guys, you need to remind me to take that thing out. Oh, this is going to be fun. This looks black. Et le nom est Green Jasper, mais sur le, sur le petit... On the little label, it looks pink and purple. It's called green, and it looks black in the bottle. So I have no clue what color this is going to be. Sur là, il n'y a pas de paillettes. This one has no glitter and no um, sparkle, and this one has sparkle. Oh, do you see that? Can you guys see that? Just that tiny bit that touched right there. I don't see any green, so I don't know. Whoever named these must have been blind, color blind. Donc, tout de suite, tout de suite, on peut voir les paillettes dans ceux-là. I always like to shake my uh, ones with glitter in them to make sure that the glitter is going to come out. Voilà. So, you can see right away how glittery this is. Right away. Come on. Facebook. Oh, it's working now, guys. Hang on. Let's see. I'm going to go. What's the name of this page again, guys? C'est quoi le nom de cette page? No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Je l'ai trouvé. Okay. So, hopefully I don't have sound on. Okay. So, hopefully, I don't have sound on. And I do. Okay. Okay. 
Perfect. All right. So now at least I can see what you guys are see seeing and hopefully saying. So you see that? You can see all that beautiful glimmer, glitter. And then here, I'm starting to see a bit of green. Je vois un petit peu de vert, mais pas tant que ça. So that is the difference between them. Ça, c'est la grosse différence entre les deux. So, ooh, now I see green. See, now you see a nice electric kind of green. So. Voila. Okay, maintenant je suis psychologue. Et on voit quoi ici? What do you see here in my paint blotch? No, no, just kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay. All right. So that is the difference between these two. Okay. Une Pixie Sparkle vient avec les paillettes. A Pixie Burst, il vient aucune paillette dedans. Okay. So that's your big difference. All right. Let's put that aside. Let's put that aside. And then, if possible, I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Um, what I want to do now is I want to tint some of these pastes. So, for example, this crackle paste. Donc, ça, c'est une pâte à crackler. Ça dit que quand il sèche, il va craquer. Donc, on va le voir la crackler. Okay? So, I'm just going to put a little. I don't need a lot. Et je vais mélanger avec un peu de couleur. Donc, à ce temps-là, je vais le faire avec... Pas Purple Affair. Fuchsia Rose. Ça s'appelle Fuchsia Rose. OK. Fuchsia Rose. OK. Excuse-moi. Here goes. Il faut pas ajouter de l'eau. You don't have to put any kind of water in there. And this is going to tint our paste. Okay. Now, what else can you tint your paste with? Quoi d'autre vous pouvez utiliser pour teinter votre pâte? So, yes, mica powders, definitely. Okay. You can definitely use mica powders. You can use inks. Donc, si vous avez des re-encreurs pour vos pads de encre, comme les Distress, les Oxides, des choses comme ça, vous pouvez utiliser ça pour tenter des pâtes. Um, des aquarelles, si vous avez des aquarelles en liquide. Si vous n'avez pas des re-encreurs, mais vous voulez utiliser une de vos encres, vous pouvez toujours prendre ton tampon d'encre. If you wanted to use an ink pad that you had, but you don't have the re-inker, you can take the stamp pad, you can stamp it down on your mat, and then put your paste on top of it and mix it in. So definitely lots of ways to uh, tint your pastes. Now you see that I'm not getting a very dark color. <coughs> Excuse me. So I would have to add more to get a dark color, but I'm not looking for a very dark color. So I'm just mixing it. Et on va pas voir la crackler aujourd'hui. Ça, on va voir demain. OK, donc je vais vous montrer demain. Je vais prendre un format ATC, si j'en ai. Huh. Guys, is this possible? I have no pre-cut ATCs except in glossy. 
That totally sucks. All right, well, then I'm doing it on watercolor. Okay, now this was the stencil from Dutch Doobidoo que je vais vous montrer la semaine passée. Puis moi, je veux faire juste un peu de la mandala. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know why, well, yeah. Je vais le faire juste un petit peu de la mandala. OK, ici. Donc, ça. Ici. OK. OK. Et je vais complètement couvrir mon tuile ici. So I'm going to cover the whole little tile. OK. Now, interesting. Je veux voir si on va complètement perdre les sparkles. Parce que celui-là est une qui est supposée d'avoir les paillettes. Puis, je ne le vois pas dans mon pâte. Maybe if I look closer, I'll see it. But right now, I am not seeing the sparkle in the paste. So I'm curious if we lose that by using this, because if that's the case, si vous perdez les paillettes, il vaut pas la peine d'utiliser quelque chose pailleté qui est plus précieux. So if that's the case, I wouldn't use um, what, that kind of a paste, because why? You know, it's not as common. And if you can't, uh, that kind of a mica, sorry. Ooh, that one stayed in there. Hang on. I'm going to put it back down. Et je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais un morceau est resté dedans and doesn't want to go on to. Ah, interesting. Huh, interessant. Ces morceaux-là, je ne sais pas s'ils étaient trop secs ou quoi, mais ils ont resté dans le pochoir. Hmm. But very beautiful, as you can see. So definitely not a problem. So we will take that, and then I am going to just push it out here and put it into my stencil bath. Donc, je garde juste un pot de l'eau tiède à côté de moi que je peux mettre tout de suite mon pochoir, même que moi, j'aime pas nettoyer mes pochoirs, mais je veux pas avoir toute la pâte collée dessus parce que avec la pâte épais comme ça, ça va changer la, la friction de ma, ma pochoir. Okay, so I don't want to, you know, take the chance that I'm going to have like a bumpy finish on my stencil. So that's the only reason, c'est la seule raison que je le nettoie. All right, so let's wipe that up. So that's crackle paste. Now, what I'm curious about are some of the paste that you wouldn't think necessarily to put to put um, color into. Like I said, I don't know if it will work in embossing powder. It would be interesting if it did, but. I'm not holding my breath for that one. So let's give it a try. For that, pour ça, je suggère un petit pot uh, pour faire un bon mélange. Come, of course, I don't have a little pot à côté de moi. I'm gonna just mix it in, do I have a petit tasse ou quelque chose? Mais je vais le mélanger. Um, Je vais le mélanger dans, sur un papier. Pas dans rien, sur un papier. Sur mon papier enveloppé. <rire> Vraiment, mon petite enveloppe que j'ai faite la semaine passée. Je vais mettre un peu de la poudre. So I'm going to put a little bit of the embossing powder. 
And then I'm going to put some of the Pixie Sparkle. Okay. And I probably should have, c'est probablement une bonne idée d'avoir um, quelque chose étampé prêt avant que je fais tout le mélange, puis le Versamark, puis tout ça. So, let me get my Wow Embossing Powder, parce que j'aime ceux-là, il est tellement tacky. Je vais chercher juste une petite étampe, n'importe de quoi, qui est proche. Qui est proche. What do I have proche? I have an art by Marlene. Proche. So, I'm going to have an art by Marlene. I'm going to have a piece of cardstock. A. Je suis prête. Je vais faire étamper ma petite fleur. Je bouge le poudre pour un seconde. Okay. So, I'm going to put my ink on. I'm going to stamp it once. I'm going to put a bit more ink. I'm going to stamp it again. Once we're embossing. And this wasn't smart because I'm embossing on white with white. So that probably wasn't the smartest thing. So we will see. J'espère que ça va marcher, mais comme j'ai dit, moi, je le fais parce que je ne pense pas que ça va marcher, mais ça va être cool si oui, ça marche. So, I don't think it's going to work, but wouldn't it be cool if it does? And I put all my palette knives where exactly? Over here. Okay, so, je prends ça maintenant, puis je mélange. Okay, so you can see... That is definitely changing the color of the powder. Mon poudre était blanc. Et ceux-là, c'est un poudre que quand on met la chaleur, ça gonfle. You can hear me mixing it. Sorry for the noise, Antonia. But you can hear me mixing that powder in. So I want to mix it as much as possible. And now I'm going to pour it on here and I'm going to shuffle it around. I have beautiful paper, regarde ça. Okay, oh, it may have worked a little. Let's see. La grotesque va être si je perds beaucoup quand je le chauffe. À cause que c'est un poudre, peut-être la chaleur ou maybe blowing the heat on it. But wouldn't this be cool if it actually works nicely? All right, so we are going to give it a try now. On va le chauffer. So we're going to heat it up. Are you all waiting anxiously like I am? Est-ce que vous attendez avec impatience? Puis, est-ce que vous êtes, I don't know, impatiente comme moi? Et vous voulez savoir les résultats tout de suite? Je vais faire ça en dessus. I'm going to heat from the bottom. We'll see. Hi. All right. 
right, it's embossing, guys. Sound boss. And let's see what we're gonna get. And what if I do it from on top? What's gonna happen, everyone? Ça gonfle un petit peu. Okay, so this is what happened. It did raise, it did tint it a little bit, so I'm getting just, it's interesting. Je trouve ça intéressant parce que en certaines places, on voit comme une iridescence. Dans les autres places, il est blanc. So it's really quite cool. I wish you guys could touch it and see it. But it's very, very subtle, but it's really cool. Which reminds me to show you one thing that maybe you don't know about your powders, okay? Um, where's my wow embossing powder? Ça, c'est quelque chose que peut-être tu ne sais pas de tes poudres. Je ne sais pas. OK. And that would be that. And I'm doing this from memory, but I'm pretty sure I remember correctly that if I were to take my powder now and put it on here and brush it around, I am going to get that beautiful mica iridescence on my WOW embossing ink. Okay, which is fine on white. I don't know if you can see it. But then let's take that baby over to a little bit of black. On va le prendre juste en noir. Fait la même chose. Et la mienne, mon, mon tampon donc, devient d'être un peu sec. Ça sèche un petit peu. So here, if I put it on black, another fun thing to discover is you can, and I can see I didn't press evenly. Look at that powder on black, first of all. Sans rien faire. And now, look at it when... <gasps> la, 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 la. Look at that baby go. Okay, so I could blow off the rest here and just take it off, but just look at that. Au même temps, vous pouvez juste mettre sur ton pinceau puis mettre. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see it as much. Le iridescent. I'm not sure. Okay. So, and then, pour sceller, moi, je mets juste un push-push de haut, d'eau, de l'eau dessus. Okay. Et quand ça va sécher, ça va sceller dessus. Okay. So, that's just something on the side. So, very cool. So, I'm glad it worked. So that was fun. À découvrir avec vous autres. All right. So here's the paste I've been dying to try. This pearlescent paste. Okay, so let's try another new color. Um, 
I found this color interesting. Ça s'appelle Sunset Glow. Je sais pas à quoi ça a l'air, but it just has such a pretty name. So again, I'm opening one. And we're going to take it off. We are going to... Ça a l'air plus iridescent. This one, again, looks more iridescent. Okay. And I'm going to take a little piece of black and a little piece of white and a little bit of water. Not a ton. And here goes. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. let's see what this baby has. Ça s'appelle Sunset Glow. Okay. Donc, avant que on teinte quelque chose avec, on va juste regarder la couleur. All right. So, let's have a quick look at this color. Well, now I see why it's called Sunset Glow. Ça a l'air comme a sunset. Now, on the black, I'm a little, not underwhelmed, c'est pas la bonne mot, mais je trouve qu'on voit un une couleur sur le noir. Sur la blanc, on peut le voir plusieurs couleurs. OK? Donc, la plus qu'on met dessus, la plus de couleurs on voit. You see that? So, the more, the more color you're putting on, the more colors you're going to see. And it just pops. On the black, it's beautiful, but you only see one color. So, that's my only, let's say, dilemma about those. Okay? So I'm going to put that aside. It has to dry anyways. And let's use this same beautiful color. So what I wanted to tint, if I can get it open, is the pearlescent medium. Because this, if you remember, si vous souvenir, is c'est un pâte qui fait perler tout. So this gives a pearlescent surface to whatever it gets put onto. So it is a pearlescent paste that's going to pearlize anything. Okay? Donc tu peux mélanger ça ou juste mettre un couche perlée par-dessus de n'importe quel projet. All right? So it is going to give you that pearl finish on any of your projects. So, if we took some out and we tinted that, et cela est plus liquide que l'autre, donc probablement on va avoir une couleur un peu plus foncée. So, because this one's a little bit more liquid than the other one, um, it's not liquid, but it's a looser paste. Uh, because of that, we'll probably get a better reaction to the color. So this one's called Sunset Glow. It's also a pixie sparkle. Okay. So again, it's going to pick up the sparkle. But this time I'm actually seeing the sparkle in there. Donc je le vois les paillettes dans le pearlescent paste. So that's a good thing too. Ça j'aime beaucoup. All right. So there's that. Pretty, pretty. And then let's take, I did grab another stencil from Dutch Doobadoo. Ça, c'est mon excuse de ouvrir puis mettre dans mon collection. Ma collection, excuse-moi. I need Google Translate to correct me when I'm wrong. Voilà. See, that's why I send Jay... I send Jay off when I'm doing a video because then I get to open things. Wait, that was my plan, guys. C'est le but. So here, I am going to run this. I didn't make enough. Let's take a little bit more. Let's take a little bit more. And put some more paste, more powder. OK, 
Okay, voila. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work as a paste, but we're gonna try. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try it on a smaller piece. Je vais le mettre sur un morceau plus petit, comme ça on peut essayer un peu sur noir, puis un peu sur blanc. Donc, je vais prendre un petit morceau de noir et un petit morceau de blanc. Mais ça, c'est vraiment pas un pâte, donc il n'y a pas des épaisseurs de ça. C'est vraiment juste une épaisseur et c'est une couche mince. So it's really meant to go on top of your cardstock or whatever, but I don't see why it can't go through a stencil. Everything can go through a stencil. Okay. Oh, already? Oh, that was me. Okay. User error, you know, voila. Donc, il ne faut pas finir complètement le pochoir. Je ne vais pas compléter tout le dessin, mais je vais faire un peu sur noir, puis un peu sur le blanc. Because I love this pearlescent medium. And last time I showed it to you guys, I didn't get the impression anybody was overly... Oh, that's what's happening. I had like a hard piece that came off of my palette knife. Voila. Okay, so that might have messed up a little bit, but I think we'll get the general idea. Okay, so... Let's see that. And again, we know ça va être encore plus beau demain. But you can see how pretty that is. Sunset glow in pearlescent medium. I love this medium. I really, really do. Look how pretty that came out. And I love this stencil. What's the name of the stencil, Natalie? I don't know. C'est quoi le nom de la pochoir? Ça s'appelle... It is called Mandala A Man Mandala Asis. Okay, but look how pretty it came out on the white, and then look how pretty it came out on the black. So very, very, very pretty, both of them. Okay. So and look at this. This has a stitched edge. Do you see that? La couture autour de les côtés. Donc ça, je vais laisser sécher. Puis déjà, il est prêt à utiliser pour un projet. Il n'est pas complet. C'est parfait. Je peux l'ajouter de l'encre autour et ça va être fini. OK? So really, and it could go either way. So just a beautiful piece of art. Again, I don't expect it to be in the Louvre. All right, so, so far I'm happy with the pastes we tried. So there's that. Okay, so I'm going to close that one up. Dimensional paste. Donc, ceux-là, il se d'avoir dimension. Donc, ceux-là, quand vous ajoutez votre, uh, votre poudre ou de quoi, C'est plus épais et donc avec un pochoir, ça se posait de tenir la forme. So this one is supposed to. It's a 3D paste, which means it is supposed to be thicker and it is going to keep its shape better. Again, you can tint it with whatever you want. There's no limitations. So really, try every... I don't think I would put alcohol ink. Je teste pas avec de l'encre alcool. Seulement parce que je pense que l'alcool va commencer à... I don't know how to say it in French, but I think that the alcohol will start eating away at the paste so that it, you won't have paste left, you know? Uh, that's just my own opinion. I am not a scientist in any way. Donc, je ne sais pas parce que je n'étudie pas la science. Mais ça me fait penser que l'alcool est plus fort et je pense si on met dans le pâte, ça va juste réduire le volume puis tout ça. 
de la pâte. Okay? So I would expect it to do that. So if I took out a little bit of this and did the exact same thing, and we ran the same stencil, I think we would see the dimension on it would be much more raised. Uh, this is not the same color. This one is. So this one is Sunset Glow. It's a newer color. Cela est plus nouveau de couleur. Mais c'est pâle. Donc ça va pas me donner un couleur foncé. But it's fluffier. La pâte est plus uh, doux. So it really, it's got, you can feel that it has more dimension. Just a beautiful, beautiful paste. I do have to watch the time though. Ooh, it's five o'clock. Okay. Guys, this is going to be our last quick demo because pauvre Michel, faut partir. Donc, je vais finir ça. Et uh, demain, je peux continuer avec les autres. Okay? So, and I will show you how the crackle paste looks tomorrow. And I will show you how that pearlescent medium dries. So, as you see, this is not making it very dark. Now, of course, if you add something in like les silks de la semaine passée, okay, si on met ça, ça, ça va teinter, well, let's pick one that's open, beaucoup plus. So, just to give you an idea. Okay. Je vais vous montrer ça. Voilà. So I added orange because we were already starting with some sort of an orangey base. But you can see that your color right away will start to change, but so will your paste. À cause que c'est liquide, ça a changé le, uh, la formule de mon pâte. So my paste is now a little bit more fluid. So you have to remember that based on what you want to do with the paste you're using. Okay? So again, 3D paste, ça dit juste que ça va être plus soulevé que l'autre que je viens de te montrer. All right, and then we'll finish with this. Like I said, poor Michelle, she really needs to go. Donc, je vais finir un petit échantillon avec ça, puis on va le voir demain comment ça a l'air et on va peut-être avoir quelques nouveautés. On va voir si je peux. OK. So, voilà, voilà. Okay, and hopefully some boxes come in, but it's a slow week. I'm not expecting much to come in. Peut-être vers la fin de sortie cette semaine. Donc, si je les reçois, je vais les montrer. Voilà. Ta-da! Again, it came out to be a beautiful color. Okay, so... Don't be shy to use what you have to taint, tint any of your pastes, okay? That's what they're there for. Th that's why most of them are made white. C'est la raison à cause que presque toutes sont faites blancs. C'est parce qu'on peut ajouter nous-mêmes les couleurs, okay? Donc, je veux que vous faites un essai et euh, mettez les essais même, les photos des essais sur la page de création. C'est fun de voir des, uh, des bonnes formules que tu découvres. So if you, if you stumble upon something that you made that you really love, then share it with us and share it with your fellow crafters because we would probably love it just as much and we would partake in that and we would love to do it. Look at that. It's just yummy. I just love getting messy. Okay, guys, so what do you say? We're back here tomorrow, okay, 
À demain, en retour ici à 4 heures, peut-être pour quelques nouveautés. Euh, peut-être on va tester le glass paste demain euh, et le grit paste. Sinon, on va aller faire une page avec les peintures parce que c'est ça que je veux vraiment faire. Mais s'il y en a des nouveautés à ce temps-là, on va faire ça. Donc, à demain tout le monde. Bonne soir et j'espère que la petite peau de neige qui est venue aujourd'hui, il va être parti par demain. Puis, on va avoir des beaux températures pour le restant de la semaine. Bye, everybody. Hopefully, this little bit of snow leaves us and we'll have some really nice temperatures for the rest of the week. I'll be here with you tomorrow. If we have new product, I'll show that. If not, we'll come back and finish up with these few pastes. And um, I'd love to dip into Tracy or Paper Artsy's paints and do a couple of layers with that. I've been wanting to get painty for a while. So have a good one, guys. Love you and see you tomorrow, four o'clock. Be there, bye.